Hey guys, I am Mick from Spot.ph and I'm here at the Art Fair Philippines 2022 to give you a first look at what you can expect here at the Art Fair this year. The Art Fair Philippines is a yearly event where artists and art enthusiasts alike can come together to appreciate art from all over the Philippines. It was hit by the pandemic but now it's back and here in the wonderful Ayala Triangle and will run from March 23 until April 1. Let's go take a look inside so you know what to expect when you visit the Art Fair Philippines 2022. To those familiar, Art Fair Philippines is usually held at The Link, which is an enclosed parking space turned event space. Due to the current state of the world, it was moved to the Ayala Triangle for an open-air hybrid event. The venue is divided into five different locations. Film, AR Art Trail or Augmented Reality Art Trail, Photo, Projects, and Residences. Unfortunately, at the time of shooting this, the film section and the AR Art Trail were still being set up but you can check out our articles over on spot.ph so you know what to expect from them. Do note that to fully experience the AR art trail, you'll need to download the Data Mobile application which is only available on the Apple Store. Sorry fellow Android users. So you can see behind me is the installation for the art fair residences. These are 5 artists that were selected and paired with different spaces in the country. We have Derek Tamala at the Manila Observatory, Hannah Nantes for the Linangan Art Residency, Jao San Pedro for Emerging Islands, Alwin Riamilio at The Orange Project, and Faye Abanto for Butanding Barrio. Behind me is the ticketed area of the art fair which features works of 10 different artists. If you want to know more about them, there's an article over in spot.ph which gives you a little bit of information about them and about their art. They are a diverse group of young and established Filipino artists. Curated by Norman Crisologo, this section includes pieces that are sure to keep you engaged. So here we are inside the project section of the art fair. And rather than having descriptions under the artwork, if you have a phone with QR code capabilities, what you can do is scan the QR codes here and it will take you to the website with information on the artist and the artwork. Which is great because you know, environment stuff. Yay! This is the only paid area of the art fair. Tickets go for 150 pesos and are available online. I'm here in the photo section of the art fair Philippines. You can see it here beside me and in the video I guess but I mean you should come here in person to see it for yourself because it's different seeing it in person. It's free to walk around and it really is a vibe to walk in the park in the open air while being able to appreciate art in the form of photography. So there you go, that's what you can expect from the Art Fair Philippines 2022. Remember that while the Art Fair project section is paid to enter, everything else is free and you can visit here at the Ayala Triangle. All you have to do is come over, bring yourselves, bring your friends, have a great time, enjoy all this art. This has been Mick from Spot.ph, thank you for joining me today and I'll see you guys soon.